I don't think anyone saw a quad with nitrous coming to Fortnite. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure we did a video talking about this not too long before it was released. Not to say we're responsible for the quad, but they have seemed to come out with a lot of the stuff that we've uploaded to our channel. Hmm. I think what I'm saying here is Epic Games, I think you should hit us up. But Epic Games are truly epic because not only can you fly into the sky like a rocket on these quads, but you can shoot off of them to try and hit trick shots with your snipers or your hunting rifles. But welcome back to Top 5 Gaming, everyone, where today and today only, if you like this video and subscribe and come to our house at Haunted Hills, 402 Haunted Hills, we're giving out full candy bars. This is a limited time offer. So don't even think about trick-or-treating elsewhere. We've got the full bars. Also, do not go to the witch's house right next to ours. We have heard reports that she is giving out bars with razor blades in them. Today we will be breaking down the top 10 most insane quad bike plays that you could never do in a million years. Well, maybe you could do them in a million years, but let's get into it! Number 10 is the X Games with Ninja. Now, every one of you have that inner stuntman. Finding a vehicle in a game usually leaves you with two questions. How much hair can I get with this? And how cool will it look? Then we get boosters added to the back of one of those, and now we've got the Batmobile. Oh wait, wrong game. Here we go, the quad bike. As far as vehicles go, it's not too shabby compared to the slow-paced shopping cart, heavy golf cart, and the quad bike gives you that fast-paced X Games handling to it. On a one-on-one -on -one with the golf cart, foot to the pedal, the golf cart can't win. But with the quad bike's booster, it can outdrive and outfly most forms of transport. Combine that with some crazy trick shotter on the back seat, and you'll be pulling off clips like this in no time. Wait, coming back? No, no, no. Oh, down the hill? The mountain, yeah, the hill. All right, let's go. The hill. Hill. Yeah, you can get close. I, I just get the one that's close again. Oh my god. This is it. Do you see him right in front of us, Ninja? No, 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 no. Get the one on top of the hill. Top of the mountain. Top of the mountain. He's on the, the mountain. He's on the back side. Get him, bro! Oh my god. Oh! Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Oh my god! Two of the community's favorite streamers. You have Tim the Tatman driving and Ninja riding shotgun except with a sniper. They hit that crater boost to get the initial height and then combine that with a quad bike booster to send themselves flying high enough to see on top of the mountain to take out the opponent unsuspectingly from above. It's a clean headshot and you can see Ninja go from a solid 10 seconds of concentration face to pure amazement at landing it. To top it all off, they managed to land the jump and carry on rolling. Nice driving, Tim. Number nine, no guns necessary. When we first got the shopping cart, the thought of it being able to actually run someone over was pretty slim. And in all fairness, we've seen our fair share of clips of people using shopping carts to bump people off mountains, but it's not quite the same. Then we got the golf cart, and there's a chance we might be able to run people over. Unfortunately, it just didn't have enough strength. It would do a bit of damage, but was never enough to be reliable. Well, now the new quad bike has a giant plow on the front and booster for speed. We know Fortnite said this was for demolishing builds, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind if we took out a few opponents in the meantime. You've gotta love Epic Games for adding crazy things like this. That metal plow at the front will go through anything. You do have to get it right though, not enough speed and the opponent might not fly high enough to die from fall damage. Nail it like this though, and you could potentially go through the whole lobby just running everyone over. The only problem though is the quad bike doesn't have a lot of health few too many crashes and it'll soon break. Number 8, Tfue's Double Snipe. Come on now. You didn't think we'd have a quad bike plays video and that's one of Tfue's trick shots, did you? Tfue is known for consistently landing crazy trick shots, so to see him landing a double in one clip is something you'd expect to see and sure enough, he won't disappoint. His opponent tries with all his average skills to defend himself, but what do you do when you see a quad bike cartwheeling through the air? Do it for the clout. Two time, better than one time. With a few feet of ramp, Tfue manages to claim the skies and get that shot on the opponent who thought he had the high ground all to himself. Unfortunately, it was a body shot and the enemy survived. 
attempting to build a one by one so he can heal himself. The enemy seems to have completely forgotten that he got shot from above and leaves himself exposed. Sure enough, Tifu repeats the process and lands the second shot, finishing off the opponent. You'd think he might have at least stuck a roof down after just getting shot by a back flipping quad bike, but apparently not. Number seven, riding the wave golf trick shot. Our golf quad bike plays comes in from YouTuber Bolts. Since Epic introduced golf balls, basketballs, tomatoes, and the other emoted items, the trick shots have continued to evolve with the continuously updated map. Starting off at the Corruption Zone by Lazy Lynx, Bolt uses the crater's purple jets to get that first airborne boost before riding the windstream from the floating island behind him. After gaining over 116 meters in height, Bolt switches seats and takes the shot. The best part about this is at first it seems like the ball didn't make it until it lands a few seconds later and just bounces straight into the hole. It's a clean shot, although very satisfying, leaves you wondering how long it took him to land it. Either way, it's an awesome feat, even though it takes a lot of patience to land these sporty emote shots, it makes for our viewing pleasure, and for that, I thank you. Number 6, the double backflip. So we've seen emo trick shots, we've seen vehicle trick shots, and now we're smashing them together. Twitch streamer Josh is known for landing unique clips, and you can always tell it's him you're seeing in a montage with his mid-trick shot intro and commentaries. Not only does he call the shots, but he lands them too. He does all this while saving his downed teammate's life. Yo, let's go for the double backflip on these kids. Yo, Banks, this one's for you. Face up. Yo, let's go! Double backflip, like I said, just for you. He pulls off one of the smoothest backflips on our list and follows it up with a backflipping emote to create the double backflip. It's backflip inception, a backflip within a backflip. And to top it all off, he lands a clean sniper shot to an enemy barely visible from cover. You can hear him at the end of the clip hoping to use this and get noticed enough to get into face. All the best to you, Josh. All the best. We think your phase material. Number five, Myth Skateboarding KO. We're always hoping to take vehicles airborne via ramps and driving off of mountains, but with the added booster on the back of the quad bike, you don't need to worry about gaining speed or losing momentum. In fact, you can just drive up the side of a mountain like a half pipe and create your own stunts with a click of a button. The school trooper King Myth is seeing what stunts he can pull off with this new vehicle when he catches even himself by surprise. You already know, dude, the loop de loop, backwards, 1080, YY, get your- OH MY GOD! NO WAY! WHAT?! Let oh! He hadn't even realized what had happened for a moment. Myth was already running over the guy and collecting his loot before he even noticed. He went for the 180 backflip intending to jump off and double barrel the poor guy, but instead takes him out clean with the quad bike from pure impact damage, leaving Myth jumping out of his chair and his opponent probably throwing the computer out the window. I mean, that's what I would do anyway. Number four, on top of the world. There's been a few events throughout Fortnite that have been far out in the distance, too far away to build, and sometimes you just want to get a closer look at things. You've had the Comet back in Season 3 and Rifts in Space throughout Season 5 that were just out of reach, but with the Quad Biker Booster and the new playground settings, you can get to anywhere you possibly want to explore. Well, kind of. Yo, that is Fortnite, look at this! Holy crap, I'm, I'm literally so high in the this is so broken, it's crazy. So as you can see, he dies when he reaches a new height barrier we weren't aware of before at about 1,200 meters, which means you're still limited, but at least you can explore to the very edges of the Battle Royale physical universe. When entering the custom settings for your playground game, put the gravity to very low. Then once you enter the game, just find yourself a quad bike and take off into the air. The low gravity will help carry you as you use the short boost each time it's charged. Keep that pace going though, because as soon as you lose momentum, it's impossible to carry on and you'll be falling all the way down to start again. Number three, the one that got away. Landing an insane trick shot can always be the highlight of your day. So when you land it and it's simply a hit marker, you can be left a little frustrated, especially if that was your only solid chance. And in all fairness, I for one can always appreciate a trick shot that may have just ended in a hit mark. You actually end up feeling bad for them as you've seen plenty of the exact same shots that have been ended in a kill. But unfortunately with snipers, unless you hit a headshot, there's no guarantee especially with the hunting rifle as its standard body damage is below 100. Sometimes players will even slowly reduce their opponent's HP to confirm the kill, but you don't always have time for that. Nonetheless, you've got to give it up for Dare Zertex for making this shot in style. Ooh. 
oof, that has got to hurt. Even though the launch is spot on, the backflip is perfect, and he's got the skill, it ends in a tag. The enemy's minding his own business, building his way up a mountain, and takes a sniper bullet to the back. The kind of thing you'd expect in disco domination, but not from a flying sniper sitting on the back of a quad bike. At the end of the day, it was a nice trick shot, and that's what it's all about, baby. Number two, the classic. We've called this one the classic because this is pretty much going to be the standard method for getting that perfect backflip. That strategy that will allow you to switch seats and have plenty of time to aim, the clip we'll be showing you is by Astronaut TV and demonstrates perfectly how to perform this maneuver. Doesn't matter if you've got the high ground anymore, all you need is some form of ramp to get you off the ground and boosters will take you up from there. If you have a natural hill or mountain nearby, that works too, but popping out a stair or two can be useful if you need to stay in cover. When you're just about to go off the ramp, hit boost and pull back to raise yourself up. Midway through your boost, quickly point the quad bike in the direction you want to go and you'll be flipped and left drifting through the air with the advantage to shoot down on your enemy before falling. Astronaut shows it perfectly with a right side flip and trick shot that lands completely flat, allowing him to switch seats and drive off to get his loot. Number one is going to be Tim the Tatman, the Rage King's drive-by. At the number 10 spot, we had Tim the Tatman driving and Ninja making the trick shot. Now, now it's actually the opposite way around. Ninja's driving while Tim pulls off a crazy snipe. They've got to share the clips, right? They're in the final 10 and are obviously looking to make plays driving around the circle's edge on a quad bike. It's not long before they find someone running from the storm, attempting to build a ramp so they can dive away. You gonna glide? I don't know. I'll tell you. Yeah, they're gliding. Oh! Oh! oh my God! Yeah. Oh, that dude, that was so damn. Don't you just love it when you see those shots? It's not just a sniper shot, it's a headshot. It's on a moving vehicle while shooting on a moving target that you could barely see because of the giant glider's bat wings kind of shot. It's a ton of intricate variables all wrapped up in a few seconds of a bundle of some insane skill that led for one hell of a satisfying clip. Tim was ecstatic, Ninja barely realized what just happened, and it's suddenly raining loot. All's well that ends well. But that has been our list of the top 10 insane quad bike plays that you could never do unless you do them. Prove us wrong. Send us some clips on our Twitter. Follow our Twitter link in the description. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Push notifications on. And keep it here on IGN Top 5 Gaming.